Okay, so in this question, a mass at the end of a string is swung in a horizontal circle at increasing speed until the string breaks. The subsequent path taken by the mass is, so what is the path that will be followed by the bob or the stone, uh, which is being swung in, in the way that is shown in the diagram. Uh, this kind of uh, uh, motion is uh, known as a conical pendulum. This is known as conical pendulum, first of all. Now, what is asked in this question is that, let us say the string breaks at some moment. So after the string has broken, after that, what will be the trajectory of the of this body? Will it uh, move in a vertical plane? Will it move in a horizontal plane? Will it be a curvilinear manner or whatever? So that will be, we need to find this thing. So let us say that this body was uh, coming like this. Okay, the direction is shown like that. Um, let me change the direction because it will be easier for me to draw. Um, if it is moving in this direction like this, and let us say it came from this, and at this location, at this very location, the string breaks. The string breaks. And what will happen? It is having a tangential velocity now, that is Vt, tangential velocity. And as soon as the string breaks, it will have only and only this tangential velocity. So what happens now is it will follow a path like this. So this is a path of a projectile motion. So this kind of projectile is always given a special name. It is known as horizontal projectile. And this horizontal projectile, horizontal projectile means the projectile motion, which was earlier horizontal. So this was horizontal earlier and now it is a projectile motion. And what is the definition of projectile motion? Projectile motion is a motion in which the body once thrown, once it is moved out of my hand, it is acted upon only by one force and that is weight. So that kind of a motion is known as projectile motion. So this is horizontal projectile motion. So according to our ABCD options, A is line along the radius of the circle. No, horizontal circle, not at all, because it is moving down and it is vertical. Curve in a horizontal plane, no, curve in a vertical plane, absolutely correct. Because this is going to be a vertical plane now. The body is going to reduce its, reduce its length, its height. So it is definitely a vertical plane, so our answer is D. So with this, all the best. Bye.